Hi guys, welcome back. So the first step for making our kefta, so this coat is actually from Shein, or Shein, however you pronounce it. Um, I did get it on sale just because I didn't particularly want to be getting an, a full price proper coat that I'm just going to be editing anyway for Comic Con. But anyway, the first step for making our kefta is removing the buttons. So here you can see we've got these silver kind of military style buttons. You could have got them in black and honestly they're not exactly my favourite style of buttons anyway. So in order to take it off you can either use the scissors like I am but ideally you should be able to if you do have like a sewing kit or anything you could use a seam picker or cutter I forget. <laughs> but the good thing about that and why it's better than scissors is that the head is quite slim so you can easily just slide it underneath your stitches lift it and then It'll, you'll easily be able to cut through the threads. Now I don't have that so I'm going to have to settle for my fabric scissors but any kind of scissors will do as long as it can actually go into the threads where your button has been stitched into your coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I've done half already. There we go. <laughs> so you can see this half has no buttons but this half does have the buttons. There you go. I would say while as you go along taking your buttons out if you just kind of smooth out the fabric um, when I actually took some of them out some threads are woven into it and started pulling at the fabric itself so I just picked out as much as I can and just trimmed the excess um, so I'm going to get on with that and do the other half and then I'll show you guys the next step Now you need your hook and eye fasteners and your buttons to add to your coat. Next, you will need to line up your transfers in the order that you'd like it to appear on your kefta or <laughs> on your coat. Um, you should also use, instead of using drawing pins, just use normal pins to keep them in line. So this is how mine came out. It took three attempts and this was the final one that I was happy with. So the next stage will be going on to actually using the iron to secure your transfers to your coat. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get a piece of baking paper or some kind of parchment just to make sure you don't damage the embroidery in any way. Um, I would say just rest the iron in an area and maybe wiggle it as I'm doing there just to make sure that you're getting all the intricate details around it. Um, later you'll see if you just try and raise some of the embroidery, um, if you're unable to get your finger underneath it then that's great, that means that it's secured. If you can still get your finger underneath or it moves then you definitely need to go over that area again. Uh -huh, just like you can see there, so I'm definitely going to have to go over that area again. So once you've done one side of your kefta, you're going to repeat on the other side that doesn't have the buttons. It doesn't really matter what order that you do it in, but that's what you'll be doing next. And then we'll be finished and we get to see how it looks. So once we are finished here, the next step will be to assemble your buttons and your hook and eye. So you will need your thread and your needle to put those in place. I'd recommend putting the hook and eye further into the coat so you don't actually see it and it is more hidden. Now this part is for the belt for my kefta and was a lucky find from Shein. So I managed to get um, a belt and I was really lucky to find um, a stag brooch which I literally just attached to make my kefta belt. I love this piece, such a happy accident and really brought the kefta together.
Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> Let's tag the journey. Say hi. She does say hi. Say hi. Oh, now you have now go away, yeah? <laughs>